more windy today. Today is Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday. Here in western Pennsylvania, man, it's been up in the 70s. It's a high 70 today. Last night, uh, it was warm. So yesterday I went for a ride. Then I was over my sister-in-law's for a while. Then I come home and it was so nice. I was going to put the bike away. It was dark, getting laid out. I called my nephew and uh, I was going to take some stuff down to him. And he said, you want to ride? And I said, yes. So we took a ride. <clears throat> I didn't get home till about 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30. But, oh, it was warm out and nice. And, I mean, after all that dreary, cold weather. Saturday night, it's supposed to rain. So we were going to take a ride, do a little work on his bike, and then go for a ride. And I said, hey, you want to go to the Harley shop first? And we're going, there's one close to him, but I like it. There's one further that I like. It's bigger. And uh, he wants to get, let's see, the mirrors for his Harley. Uh, Honda Vi Valkyrie. Yeah, Honda Valkyrie. And uh, he wants to get them new mirrors. Because on the V-Rod, those mirrors are useless. I'm smaller than him, and I couldn't see out of them real good. And then him, he said he can't see anything. He said he has to lean over to see out of it. So I called him back, and I said, hey, I'll get my stuff come down. Uh, let's go up to the bike shop and get your stuff. And he's going to get foot pegs. The foot pegs on them are like pencils. And they did that to keep up with the style of the theme of the style. But man, oh, man, he said it's so hard on his feet. I said, well, no wonder. So he's going to get a set of them big flat ones. So that's where I'm heading now. A lot of churches in this area, a lot of big homes. You go way on top of the hills, the rich section. Man, there's a state up, you know, states up there. There's a bike you sitting there. That looks like the uh, older Suzuki. Looks like it was in nice shape. Somebody took care of it. There was one of those little, all oh, scooter type bikes in there for a long time. I'd see it. Now you got a bigger bike. Ooh, getting a little warm. Open my shield. And here's his place. Man, he ain't got his garage open. He's been working on that SUV there. He was having some trouble with it. Okay, we're getting ready to head to ZM bike sales. There's his V-Rod. <laughs> I forgot to, forgot to get my key. He said he drilled the holes out a little bigger in the exhaust. He's trying to get the right sound he wants. Let me see. Yeah, I'm recording. Always check. Man, is it nice. <laughs> We're talking. He told me, he said, yeah, I'm sorry I bought it. I said, why? Well, you got to change the pegs. You know, you got to change the mirrors. I said, that's with any bike. If you bought that bike brand new, you do have to do it. 
You can sure see him with that t-shirt. Or sweatshirt. He asked me if I was riding with a jacket, and I said, well, yeah, because of the sun. The wife asked me if I wanted some sunblock. And I said, no, I'll put this jacket on, it's light. got to take a left here because down there is the entrance. You have to. You can't go down there and cross. You've got to go on that side over there. Sorry about the shot. Huh? I feel the heat on this engine now. Yeah. It's getting buffeted real bad. It was moving me. Yeah. We get up there. We get up there. Hurry up and get in there. That way we have plenty of time to look at the stuff. Okay, I need my car to the back. Okay, I'll get it. my fan oh. oh you have a fan yeah you got a fan yeah yours is liquid cool yeah. yeah I'll lead the way home and I'll show you we'll go the back way okay we're at ZM all his stuff fit in my back bag and I asked him about the brakes he bought them at a different bike shop that's why I wanted to come up here it takes three sets for that V-Rod he's riding right there. They're all the same. Three sets, $250 for the pads. Six pads. Unbelievable. my bike up front to load it up they probably don't like that hey heck with them <laughs> parking a Suzuki right there in the fire lane but I wanted to load up and make sure his stuff would all fit he got two wide uh, they come in a set the wide foot rests and two mirrors that guy once looked like a police officer Oh, my 
different way. Oh, it's nice out. I sat there and had a pop. A can of pop where it was like 75 cents. I was going to tell them how it was like, uh, three, I'll tell them 350 for those two cans of pop. I got to get them. Hey, everything there is expensive, you know. Two cans of pop, $3.50. Shit, we could have bought a six pop. No, they were 75 a piece. Hey, <laughs> got him, I got him. I should have said, you look underneath it, it has Arnie Davison on it. You know what's going to happen now? What? I'm getting a new drill bit. Huh? I'm getting a big oh. drill bit. <laughs> Three inch. <laughs> hey, I've won this big for wood. I got him. That was good to see him. Uh, no shit. It's like, what the hell? Wow, did you see that camera in there? Holy man. Take a right up here. Can you take a right? I just seen that, so I swung around. Look at this. Son of a gun, look at that camera. Oh, man. That's old film. That there's a splitter to cut it, put film together, editing to view it for a lot of the audio insert stuff editing boards viewing look at that camera oh my god is that beautiful that tripod the wheels holy man Look at the handle on it. I want to get some shots of it. Give me some ideas. Oh my, is that thing beautiful? But that's the old film type. Look at that cable. That cable comes off of there. Oh, is that awesome? Wow. Look at the lens on that baby. Oh. That is amazing. Wow. I 
I can see down there how the legs are hooked on, folds up. It's got what about four inch wheels, five. Man, oh man, that's the whole system. BTS9 CCD. All the connectors. We put the sound system in there for the microphone. You go up, big, heavy one, and have a boom on it. That is awesome. Master control. Sony digital relay. BTS, same system. This system all went together. Look at that little roller there, that red wheel. That was a, probably a thing to push it down onto the tape to hold it together once you spliced it. And you could see it as you spliced it to make sure you had it just right on the right frame. Even got the books with it. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. I thought maybe there was things on the side that you could put the tape on reel to reel to you know go through. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> that was an old transmission shop that's in he said what would it be there for I said I don't know show I don't know you know if a person knew about it imagine would want a good bit for it oh man am I glad I had to go pro I'd have been down here the next day I'd have been down here tomorrow filming that or you know pictures or something because that was neat that camera you can't to show, wait to show the wife and the other family members. Wife asked me one day what a good camera would cost, like a bigger one, and I said, uh, you could probably get one used for 1200 you know, I mean, to really make it more professional. But for what we do, I told her, I said, it's good enough. That GoPro, boy, it takes beautiful pictures. We were watching some old footage last night of it when we first started. And uh, I was using a camcorder. Oh my goodness. That camcorder, I remember now, we said about there's no way. I mean, it, can't, it was bad. And, you know, it just didn't look good. So that's when I told her we got to at least have a GoPro. We got it, and then you can see where I started using a GoPro. What a difference. My God. Uh, new foot pegs look good, buddy. What a difference. Those little thin ones they put on, those are 100% better. Yeah, I do. That isn't a damn garbage. Just keep them there. You ever get rid of the bike, send them with them. Yeah. Somebody might want it original. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see ya. Yeah, they look good with those foot pegs. I like them. Oh my, what a difference. You can see how little the back one is compared to that. I swear these are little. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Okay. Well, 
we wanted to get a lot more done, but we went up to the bike shop and got that stuff and then rode, went all over the place. So, he was getting pretty tired there, and I said, well, we got them foot pegs on, and we got other stuff to do. He's got mirrors to put on. I told him, uh, we put the other seat on, that was it. And you got to drive them, there's two pins in there, you got to drive out to get that seat off, put the original back on. He said it feels better, he can uh, close his legs a little further, you know, it might help, but his his uh, butt was so sore today, he said, in his inner thighs. That other seat seemed like it was wider in the front, and he didn't like it. good to be home